this is Pat Love with Pat's Into Hair. Uh -huh. Now, I want to show you the glue I use. This looks like it's all my hairline and I blended my hair in. Oh, what can I say? Now, you see this? This is no tape. That can be messy, but you have to know how to work it. You have to finesse it. And here's a perfect way not to worry about getting glue on your hairline. You see my baby hair? Voila. Mm -hmm. Well, when I cut the lace off, I didn't just cut across and line it up with my hairline. I cut it all unevenly in here so you don't see a line. And on the sides, I cut a little flat so that when I'm ready to put it on, and as some of you call it, slay my wig. What I end up doing is using, I use the glue and I put it in the shape of the flap, two or three lines of it. So it's really going to be anchored. That's the part that anchors the whole wig. So if I'm going to lift up the back and braid up the back or twirl it in a bun or whatever and pin it back down, the back is covered with some bobby pins or I can stitch it on however I want to do it. But the front is anchored with these two flaps, which you don't see, but let me show you a piece of flap right here. That's the material, that's the mesh. So instead of cutting it down, I cut a dip in so that I can lay the glue and not worry about getting it on my hairline. Now this is right in front of my hairline, but the way I work this so it, it looks like it's all just me and my skin, I cut a jagged edge all the way across, uneven, just kind of, you know, irregular. And then I lay the bead, I follow the line with the bead, and I pull it forward, and this after it dries, you got to make sure when you use this glue, that when you touch it, nothing's coming off on your hand. Why? Because if you do it too soon, the glue will bleed through. There's a time to bleed, there's a time not to bleed. <clears throat> All right. So the time not to bleed is when you don't want it getting on to the hair. So you wait till it's totally dry, then you pull the wig and you press it down real good. You keep the hair out of the way. You press it down real good. All right. Now, you go back in. Now that this is anchored, you just lift this up a little bit, and you bead, just a little bead, very thin, thread size. You let that sit there. You fan it until, again, it doesn't come off on your hand. And you pull it forward. You press it down. Now, it's not going to stay down real good because it's not enough glue. But here's the trick to making it look like your skin. What I end up doing is then I take the glue and I do a very thin bead away from the hair. I keep the hair away. Over that same line. Very thin bead. All right. And I work it until there's nothing left coming out. And I let it, I fan it and fan it and fan it and fan it. And you see the little glossy shine of the wet glue. And you just fan and fan and fan and fan. Don't squeeze it out. It's going to ease out on its own anyway. Or else you have dripping going on. It's a mess. So anyway, you, you let it fan till it's just about dry. Then you tap it a few times, okay? Then you wait till it totally dries. And then here's the trick. You go in, you press down, press down, press down, so you don't have any lines showing. Then you take any material, I'm doing my blouse right now so I can show you what I mean. And you pull it taut and you hold it against, you pull it down, press it down, let go. There's no shine, it looks like it's all one consistent skin. None of my hair is out. My hair underneath is white. I had to let the color grow out. That's why you see a black ponytail sometimes when I'm recording. I'm letting the color grow out because the front had gotten so thin. I didn't know what was coming. 
So I had to stop putting color on it. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I know how to take good care of hair, and I don't intend to say goodbye to mine. I'm not ready for that yet. So I, I left all the color out, and that's the reason for the hair just, just growing back. But now it's thickening up. Just now, after these last, it's been almost a year. It's been about, it's been about a year. And it's just in the last two months starting to feel full at the root. And now when I touch it, the roots feel like hair. And it's only an inch and a half long. But anyway, the ends still feel rough like, what is that? So that anesthesia really did a job on my hair. But it's coming back. And I'm going to baby it until it does. In the meantime, here's my hair. All right, now. What I want to show you is how I do the flaps. When I lay the flaps down, I press it in real good. All right? And here's another thing. If wig starts to slide back a little bit, which it will do even with the glue, you can take your hand and just work it forward and pull this forward a little bit. And that just kind of repositions it. Then you take the material again and you press in and let go. That stops the shine from showing a demarcation between your skin and the edge of the lace. Now I'm gonna move in real quick and I'm putting my hand here to get rid of the glare so you can see more detail rather than map. Does that look consistent? Does that look like my skin or what? No line, no nothing. Now I'm gonna turn around and this is gonna be done. I want you to see how this looks. I put straight setting lotion on the edge. I don't worry about anchoring this down. I only anchor this and the temple. Everything else just hangs wherever. And I use the setting lotion, this deadly fantastic body, the best setting lotion in the world. It backwards, but you see it. This deadly fantastic body. Get it on Amazon. Right in here, it's concentrated. So you just dab a little concentrated right in here so that your edges lay the way you want. You put clips or bobby pins or whatever till it dries and it's set. When it's set, it sets like plastic almost. But then the rest, I mix with water and I spray it on my hair. And the dilution lets the hair dry and set without it feeling hard. But it keeps the curls defined. And it keeps the hair from blowing up. Now, some of you like to blow up, which is cool, but I'm too old for all that mop all over my head. So I have to look like it's natural. And this is 150 density. It is 18 inches, and the it's a 360 wig. I gave a review on it. I'm just letting you know the update. The hair still glides right through. It's beautiful hair. Okay, I'm turning it around. So you can see how it looks in the back. That's the reason for the glare, so you can really see the detail. See the light? Now, it's my hair. I paid for it. Don't be jealous. <laughs> 